All right, so it looks like I am live here already and pretty quickly. I got to say, it, it went in fairly fast. Uh, so hello there. This is Aaron from the Call of Cinema. Right now, I'm the only guy like on camera with Call of, with Call of Cinema. So anyway, today we are talking about the big sale. And what big sale? Well, if you if you just saw the tweet and you just came right in without actually like knowing, then, uh, well... It's the, it's the 88 film sale. That's what we're going to look at. See, ouch, I just... Hey there, video drone. Welcome. I didn't expect to be doing a live video tonight. I've been... You are the first. Hey there, Chris. Uh, hey, Dave. I've been basically been taping videos. So if you've been on my Patreon channel, you got a lot of content today, uh, with, including my collection corner video, which I'm doing a lot of collection stuff. Hey there, Richard and Jacob. The Italian sale, that is what we're looking at. <clears throat> hey there, Kay. Welcome. And hey, 82. We are going to be looking at the Italian sale here from the uh, from 88 Films. We're going to look at 88 Films in general. I was making a video. Every Monday I do a deep dive. So I, I take a website and I start to look at the stuff that's on that website. It's cool. It's fun. It's it's uh, it's it's what I do. But when I went into the 88 Films website, I noticed right away up in the banner that there was a sale. So I thought this would be a good way to go in and look at the 88 Films stuff. Uh, that they've got in their collection to look at the sale itself because it, it is actually a, a pretty good sale especially if you live in the uk or in a place where you can get some uh pretty good shipping hey there scholar are you an 88 films fan i think you're right so there we go that's my channel dashboard not exactly what you're supposed to be seeing but now we move away from that and we go to the 88 film sale uh, 25 percent off orders over 20 pounds which is actually really really good and that's for the italian collection so it's the italian collection sale we're going to look at the website itself so this is going to give you a bit of a peek into the uh into the deep dive that i'm doing tomorrow now that being said uh don't miss out on the deep dive pre-recorded video tomorrow because I'll, I'll talk about more stuff and uh we'll get to be uh hopefully You'll get to hear a little bit of my charmingness in that uh, in that video. We'll go with that. <clears throat> hey there, Brian. So this is Brian Sauer of Just the Disc, the famous Just the Disc, by the way. So if you have not been listening to the Just the Disc podcast or the Pure Cinema podcast or watching his YouTube channel, those are three things that will brighten your day every time. Yeah, hey, Vinny, I, uh, this sale cannot come at a worse time for me because I love their stuff. Uh, if this was an Asia sale, I, I would be screwed right now because I, I want their Asia stuff so bad. Uh, all right, Kubrick, we're looking at 88 Films Italian Collection Sale with code 88 sale for 25% off all orders over 20, 20 pounds. Uh, and I'm guessing this is only on the Italian Collection. I'm not quite sure. It says Italian Collection Sale, so we're going to say that. And let's go right into the Italian Collection. Look at it right now. For those that don't know, there's there's quite a few of these. There's like over 50 in the Italian collection. I've only got a small handful of those, and I will be doing a for my Patreon channel. I'm going to be doing a uh, a uh, an overview of my Italian collection that I have from 88 Films. I did one for my Slasher Classics collection today, and I really enjoyed it. So as you can see, we'll start off with the uh, we'll look through a lot of them here. We'll see their uh, the titles, some of the features, uh, ones. I'll, I'll show I'll tell you guys ones that I want in my collection and ones that I've already got in my collection. So let's uh, let's kind of dive into some of these. Ordered some food for delivery. Nice. Hey there, Sumo. <coughs> Their uh, Asian stuff, I, I just want so much of it, so badly. So let's go into the Italian collection right now. So right here is Zombie Flesh Eater 3. Now, I do have this one, and I have it through... Uh, I have got it through through here through uh, the uh, I got it blah, blah, blah. I got it originally <laughs> we get it out right one of these minutes I got it originally during uh, is this one I got no I think I got Zombie Flesh Eaters I got Zombie Flesh Eaters three from Severn Films I have Zombie Flesh Eaters which had a nice cool like really neat little cover on it slip cover that's another thing you'll notice uh, 88 Films has some really nice little slips and uh, some bonuses as well we'll get in that I'll actually show you some of the Asian stuff as well. Because there's a lot of really good stuff on here. Uh, K Dog, 80 Films does actually have a lot of region free stuff. You gotta take a look at their stuff, but a lot of it is actually region free. So uh, uh, I'll go over ones that are here. If they list at the region free, I'll, uh, I'll mention it. Uh, if they don't, well, uh, unfortunately, if I don't have them, I don't know. As you can see, this one here, Zombie Flesh Eaters 3, 
region code is ABC and ABC means well region free so there you go there's a little nursery rhyme code for those that want to remember it for uh, for your blu-ray collection ABC means region free <laughs> hey there Zach hey there mid-level uh, what's happening right now is that there is a sale on at 88 films for their Italian collection 25% off everything over 20 pounds that's actually pretty good because you know what 20 pounds that's two freaking blu-rays uh normally through here so we got some great features on here we got run zombie run interview with kaido fragasso and screenwriter rosella drudy we have an interview with alan bryce trailer alternate artwork you know all that cool jazz but uh we won't go through like every one of them like this but we'll look at a few of them abc's is region free i like that uh, I, I would sing it, but I, I don't have tune, so we'll, we'll go with that. Luke, you do a better job singing it than me. Hey there, Trini. That's why, video drum, you got to go region free. It, it's, it's something everybody has to do in the future. So here we are. We got Nightmare Beach, which is a bit of Lindsay title. It's a slasher film. It's not a giallo. It does have a giallo style look to it, but it's definitively in the slasher camp. There is a difference. Um... And, of course, there is the amazing Delirium. I love this film. It is such a weird mind-melting film uh, because the killer has just such an unusual uh, way about him. And in a lot of these films, you know, it's like, you know, it's, it's the different types of kills. It's the, But with this one, the killer is, is, is psychotic, and he sees things in, in a very unique, strange way. So he sees people as creatures, as monsters, and we see through his eyes. And where you see a normal movie like Halloween, when you're just seeing pretty much through the lens, the camera lens, now we're seeing what he sees. So if he sees some messed up creature that looks like a giant eyeball, we see that. that that's exactly what we see. And it has Serena Grande, and uh, she's not called Serena Grande for no reason. Uh, I, uh, I'm a huge fan of Serena Grande. Uh, of course, she was in Anthropopagus and uh, a, a host of other films. Not much on here feature-wise, pretty much just a new restoration from the OCN. And, of course, a reversible sleeve with La Foto de Goya, if I pronounced that correctly. And that one there is Region B, so you got to be Region Free for that one. It is some pretty awesome stuff. <clears throat> As we see, there's Brunematai's Rat's Night of Terror, which is a really cheesy kind of nihilistic but fun uh little post-apocalyptic rats film uh about like gigantic rats your region free player from Ka from canadian tire went kaput i'm so nervous about that happening to me k dog uh what 220 electronics is your best bet <clears throat> to go like i've got two region free players here now but i've had them for a long time eventually i know they're gonna go uh, I do keep an eye on 220 Electronics because I know that's the place that I'm going to have to go to uh, to get that stuff. There is another Delirium from the 70s. Uh, but this is this Umberto Babel Delirium is very different. And uh, I, th I think you'd enjoy it. It's a really strange film. And it's, uh, it's very, very uh, unlike anything that you've seen before when it comes to that style of stuff. I can't think of another film that goes into... That goes into that actual literal, I guess, delirium that like uh, serial killers have, the way that uh, that film does. But I really enjoy it. Hey, there's cinematic collector. Welcome, man. All right, so we got eyeball here. This is the one that a lot of people are hoping is going to be in that uh, vinegar cinder box set. Look at this art. Look how amazing that art is right there on eyeball. It is incredible. And if if perchance this does happen to come out. From vinegar syndrome if the, i hope that it has all the features especially this one there is an all eyes on Lindsay, the life and times of the town exploitation titan that's an 80 minute feature length documentary on brutal Lindsay, uh talking with a lot of people from rachel nesbitt to michael coven uh to giovanni Roberto radici just a ton of people and really really like that <coughs> got a cough there sorry i had to move away there's an interview with uh, Martin Brochard on here as well, done in 2018. It's auto commentary with the Jello Loving podcast. The hysteria continues, and eyeball locations feature at. My eyeball locations are in my eyes, uh, in my head. So uh, hopefully they're going to go into the actual featurettes of the 
location of the film. Dad joke. Two Evil Eyes is here with George Romero and Dario Argento. Uh, we got Amazonia, the Catherine Miles story, uh, which has a brilliant little cover on it. i got to say that much right now. Uh, as you can see, a lot of these here are like uh, £12.99, um, which isn't a bad price at all, actually, for some of these releases. Uh, you get like... Uh, this one here, The Last Supper, The Final Days of the Town Cannibal Film, feature uh, feature length 50 minute documentary. Uh, some really cool stuff. That one's a Region B one as well, so you gotta you gotta be careful now. Cat in the in the brain. That's one that I want. Of course, this is a Fulci classic. Uh, some people love it, some people hate it. I actually adore uh, this film. And before I come back on the screen, I'm gonna switch over to my to my Fulci shirt because I'm talking about Italian films. I should be wearing a Fulci shirt. Uh, there is brain food and allies. Analyzing late day Fulci <laughs> runs at forty five minutes long. Uh, it's been interesting to like uh, to read some of the the stuff that I've uh, seen on Fulci. I, I need to get Beyond Terror uh, for my birthday. I'm worried that one's going to go out of print again. Uh, that's the Stephen Thrower one. Uh, I'm reading through uh, through Nightmare USA and the first volume of the uh, of the Jess Franco book right now, and I kind of go back and forth between between both of them. Um, also, my uh, I'm reading a really good book for my dad too, like a Fright Fest uh, expectation guide one. So, which has been amazingly fun. A lot of reading. I've been doing a lot of reading lately. And uh, I got to say, it's uh, it's been a great time. <laughs> there we go. Cat in, Cat in the Brain. A fun little title. Because <clears throat> there's such good stuff that uh, you can get. A lot of good stuff here. And I've shown you mostly horror titles so far. But don't think it's only horror here. Because right next, on the next line right away you get navajo joe which is a burt reynolds film and we get so we're getting we're going into westerns so if you are not a horror person and that's not what you're looking for we go into the western um stuff as well Right next to that is the Mercenary, which is I'm gonna, which is still we're still on the Western uh, front when it comes to uh, when it comes to that. The cat looks ew. <laughs> it is a di very uh, <clears throat> a different film, Judith. We got in the eye of the hurricane, also known as the fox with a velvet tail. So if you've got the Mono Macabre edition, you're probably not going to need that. If you don't have it, it actually is a pretty cool one, pretty tame when it comes to jallos. So if you don't mind tame jallos, hey there, Flip, welcome, man. 88 films. I know Flip got to have some 88 film stuff because he's so into these uh, the, the the Asian cinema stuff that I know he's got to have some stuff here. Hey there, Kobe. The Mercenary is great. One of your favorites? Let's look at see what they got. See if they got any features here in The Mercenary. Mercenary Musings by Eric Zaldivar. I'm not quite sure how long that is. It is a region uh, B release, and you can see that they have different artwork for it here it's a franco nero with tony masanti so you know it's a good t film uh any any films with those two people in it are usually fantastic so if you're a jello fan tony masanti is the guy from the bird with crystal plumage that was his uh that was one of his big uh films there with argento you know the first big argento film this is in the eye of the hurricane i love the artwork here it's, it is actually better than the artwork that we got from mon macabre uh this again is a region b release so make sure you're region free or make sure that you look in the tech specs down below so that you know exactly what you're uh, what you're getting. Give all the Shaw Brothers. Man, I so need those. <clears throat> I want all the Jackie Chan stuff that they got out there. I want all the uh I want all that stuff. Flip does some amazing uh live streams, by the way, which you should all be checking out. How could you not be a fan of Django, uh, Craig? I'm, s I have, I have got to. We have to have conversations, man. Uh, Django Kill, by the way. There's another Django one for you. Maybe you like this Django one better. Uh, this is this one here stars Thomas Milan, and it's a really fun uh, little film. As you can see, we got the English soundtrack, we got the Italian soundtrack, we got newly created English subtitles. Because I like to watch them with subtitles because I'm like snobby that way. And we got the Django Killing the Evolution of Thomas Milan featurette. That looks sounds really interesting. 
since I'm a huge fan of that uh, of that actor, that's definitely something that I would uh, I would look into. The only eight films ones you have are the martial arts ones. I don't have any of the martial arts ones, so uh, you're up on me with those. I, I have the slasher classics collection. I will, a few of those, not all, but but uh, quite a few. Touch of Death looks really cool. I don't remember this one. I'm trying to remember this film. Uh, Brett H- Helsey is in it, and of course, if you're a fan of uh, of Lucio Fulci, then you're gonna remember Brett Helsey, of course, from um, from The Devil's Honey. This is a Fulci one I don't remember very well. I wish I could say that I did. But uh, Reflection, The Broken Mirror, working with Lucio Fulci and making Touch of Death feature it with, my, with contributions from DeAngelis and, and Stefano. So that's actually pretty cool. <clears throat> Fulci was one of those directors that uh, some people love him, some people hate him. And he was mistakenly considered misogynistic early on. Uh, like and later on in his career, because there was a lot of violence in his films, uh, but no more so than there was like you know there was like severe violence at a time when they're doing like uh, pro- every everybody was trying to like one up uh, the other person. Uh, but Fulci, uh, believe it or not, actually he either liked you or hated you. It didn't matter if you were a guy or a girl or what. He just <laughs> if he hated you, he hated you for uh, for his own reasons. He was a strange little guy, <clears throat> but he was a genius. Zombie fl- creeping flesh. So here we go. It is a Bruno Mattei, Mattei film. So you know you're going to have a lot of fun with it. Is it going to be a really good uh, film? Eh, it'll be okay. Will it be well shot? It'll be okay. Will it be fun? Yeah, it'll be fun. Because, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's, it's Bruno Mattei. He's, he's fun. Again, we get like... Uh, penned by Claudio Fergasso because those guys tend to work together a lot um, so you know that you know Rosella Drew has something to do with this one as well uh, it's just these guys tended to uh, to do a lot of stuff together there's a 2017 interview with star Margie Newton here Hell on Earth the 2017 interview with writer co-director Claudio Fergasso and screenwriter Rosella Drudy I told you I told you that was going to come up and I'll compress the English soundtrack and the Italian soundtrack with newly translated English subtitles which is really good <clears throat> I will. Cold Blooded Beast is, uh, is 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 another one. That's under another title. What do I know that under? Uh, Sato, is it Sato Hotel? Is that what I'm thinking of? Yeah, I knew. <clears throat> so I know this one under the title Slaughter Hotel. <clears throat> Fernando de Leo. Which again, I I love Klaus Kinski. Love Fernando de Leo stuff, so I uh, really, really enjoy that. Which one? Uh, Slaughter Hotel, the one we're looking at now, Judith, or was it the one I had before there? I like to watch mine with the subtitles on, Videodrome. And as always, that's it's my opinion. You can like it or not. <laughs> It doesn't matter, and if you find it pretentious, that's that's a might bit too bad. <clears throat> it is such a it Django. I think Jan, give Django another chance. <laughs> okay, just wait down the road. <clears throat> give another chance. I think it's one that you. That you will eventually like. You'll you eventually get into. You can see we got a classic here. We got the Long Hair Death, which is a Barbara Steele film. So you know we're getting to the uh, kind of more the classic Italian stuff here right now. And it's directed by Antonio Mar- Margheriti, and <clears throat> I'm a huge, huge fan of Antonio Margheriti. So again, we got the uncompressed English audio and the compressed Italian. Audio with subtitles there for snobby people like me. <clears throat> uh, and it's got a cool reverse bar work as well. Kind of digging that. We got like Barbara, Barbara Steele in it. Anything Barbara Steele, I'm, I'm down for. I love her stuff. And Long Hair Death is one that I found out from my dad. Actually, he was the first person to introduce me to uh, 
to that film. All right. <clears throat> My voice is going already. I can't, it can't be. We cannot let this happen. If you are here and you have not yet hit the like button, please hit the like button. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that goodness. <clears throat> this is a special extra bonus video that I'm making just for you guys after making three uh, videos for my Patreon today and doing a video that's coming up tomorrow as well. What's a film that I don't like no matter how much, what people love? Probably Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. <clears throat> like a lot of people do love that film now, but it's just not mine. Hey there, Elvin. Welcome. I like Van Damme. I do. I mean, like a lot of people don't. Van Damme gets like a bad rap. I think Van Damme got a bad rap in like where my better half is from. They never took him too seriously <laughs> as an actor. But, uh, you know, his movies are cheesy fun. But that's what they're supposed to be. You know, we got some stuff there, like the Perfume of the Lady in Black. Shocker, that's a jello. And we got some like sci-fi here. Look, 2019, After the Fall of New York, uh, which is number 26 in the Italian collection. We got Syndicate Sadists here. Amok. Amok is actually a good one. I watched that at my dad's. Uh, I like that film. Enigma, which of course was put out by Seven Films recently as well. I love the cover here, though. Eddie, you do need to get a region free player. <clears throat> it's 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 a it's a necessity nowadays. Massacre in Dinosaur Valley again, which came up from Severn Films. We got here Beyond the Darkness, otherwise known as. Just an incredible, a Joe D'Amato film that that doesn't get the credit that it really deserves. It's actually a good film, especially when you're looking at Joe D'Amato, who's probably more known for his, his kind of like sleazier stuff. The guy did write, do like adult films as well. But like you, when I say he did adult films, I mean he did like the Rocco Sofridi, the high budget adult film. So, you know, there's a difference there, I find. Um, but he, uh, this one here is actually a really good, really kind of disturbing film. Uh, and when they say it's a psycho style love story, it kind of really is. It does deal with some pretty, like, odd and, and sick type of, like, uh, things. But if you've ever seen movies like Necromantic or Necromantic 2, it's not, this is not going to bother you. If you have and those really bothered you, you're probably not going to get into this. You now we get, like, a score from Goblin on um, Beyond the Darkness, and it is such a cool release. And you can see here, we get a 68-minute Omega Rising Remembering Joe D'Amato uh, documentary on here. I think I've got that on one of my, on my recent coming, upcoming Mon Macabre. Uh, like release that I got from I think it's the same one from uh, from Manuel America I'm not quite sure but I think it is if not then I gotta look into getting this one on the road because it's a really cool one well some of these will get released by Raro as well but it's it's going to be interesting to see like what gets released where as you can see, Seven Deaths in the Cat's Eye. This is one I really want. I used to love this film. I had this on VHS back in the day. Uh, so, Seven Deaths in the Cat's Eye. And I can't even tell you what it's about right now. But I know it's Antonio Magaretti. Is it right? Yeah, okay, it is. It's how to make sure. Um, and we got like a good cast on this one here. Uh, a new res new resource soundtrack. Uh, I do commentary from Tri Holworth, who I find to be a really good when it comes to doing a commentary. But just such cool releases. And by the way, I'm, I am going to give you an, a look at those Asian titles as well. Because I know that, that Flip is a big fan of the Asian stuff. And there is some really great stuff coming out. i got to show my better half some of these later on. Because uh, there's some sexy stuff. And I mean like some some dead sexy stuff coming out here. Hands of Steel is there. Uh, we got The Cynic, The Rat, and The Fist. Actually not a bad one. Uh, Short Night of Glass Dolls. I got this one from Twilight Time when they were closing up shop before they came back again uh you know under the uh the screen archives label and i'm glad i got it it's a beautifully shot film and it's well done but i wasn't a really big fan of like the ending for uh, short night glass dolls like you get to a point you realize oh oh my god it's it's got to end right there uh but 
I don't, I know Suma. I know it's a great one, but uh, still, it it just the ending kind of bothered me because I wanted that last minute, you know. But it didn't happen. It didn't happen. I so that's all you can do. The Mad Dog Killer is here. Uh, well, not in this house. I hope not. But the Mad Dog Killer is uh, on um, is on Blu-ray. This was one I had. Zombie Flesh Eaters too. Now, when I got this initially, it had a slip cover and it came with an extra bonus disc uh, called Pora. I think that's how it's pronounced. Like I, I do not know. But it was like a three-hour long documentary uh, where people gave their thoughts on uh, on Lucio Fulci, which is actually was really interesting. Actually, now this is Green Inferno, and Also known as Cannibal Holocaust 2. So really interesting to see this one here. Um, it's got the scenes from Band Alive, The Rise and Fall of Italian Cannibal Movies. I think that's on another release as well because I'm pretty sure that I uh, that I got it. But also a interesting one to check out there. Paganini Horrors here, which we know came out from Severin. Alien 2 on, on Earth. This is a fun little one. I wish I would have picked it up when I was in London. Uh, I had it in my hands. I should have. I better have one me too, I think. And it's just one of those fun, like, cheesy uh, little films. And I love the fact that they say Alien 2 on Earth might well be the film that David Fincher wishes he had made. you got to love that. you got to love that, that type of hyperbole. I can't think of Mad Dog this. In Jackie Brown, you're right. I had forgotten. I only have two non-Asian 88 films releases. What are they? Flip. Or you could go to 220 Electronics and uh, you, you're done there. You could. Uh, we got Karate Warrior here, uh, the Italian collection. Look at this. So here you go. Is this one of them flip? One we have like it's a it's a martial arts film, but it's Italian. And as you can see, it's got that limited edition Glossos card slipcase only in the first run. Extensive cleanup and color correction carried out in the UK. We got an alternate, alternative, longer version. Only once you get around to some, <laughs> some reason I did that. I know better. Uh, featuring remastered and un uncompressed, yeah. uncompressed Italian audio, newly translated subtitles, uh, lighting the kimono, and an interview with Giuseppe Panori. We got a cinema of the underground. With Mike Leader talking about the legacy of martial arts cinema, the cynic, the rat, and the karate warrior <laughs> featurette. And Italian martial arts, like, yeah, they they do exist. Italians do, did a bit of everything, man. You don't hear a lot of their Italian. You hear a lot of spaghetti westerns. You hear a lot, a lot of, like, jello and spaghetti. You don't hear a lot of, like, spaghetti kung fu. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't tend to be something that you get, like, that's, that's well, like, uh, thought of. 11 Days, 11 Nights. That was initially a, uh, a Kickstarter one, I think, along with Beatrice Cincy. Uh, we got Paranoia here. And, of course, Emmanuel and the Last Cannibals, which I do. I do have the this version of Emmanuel and the Last Cannibals, but I like that movie so much. I really do. It's one of my favorite Lord Gemser ones that I actually went out and I got the Severin edition of Emmanuel and the Last Cannibals because I wanted that, kickers, that killer soundtrack. The Man from Deep River is one I do have as well. A good features on this one, and it's actually uh, this is the DVD, so it's only four nine nine. When you look at this, you see their Blu-rays. It range from anywhere from from nine ninety nine to twelve ninety nine, and like the, a lot of their uh, their DVDs go in around you know like four nine nine, three nine nine, some at nine ninety nine. Navajo Joe and Satan Syndicate, Syndicate Sadist. Hey there, Cinematech. Welcome, man. The Italian Karate Kid, Pipping Night Watch Zones, channel. And then we got the man from from Deep River. And the really neat thing about this is no matter if you got it in Blu-ray, you get it in DVD, you're going to get the same features. They don't, like, take the features out. They're, they're not like, you know, we're not going to give you the features. Because you, you get, like, a feature-length documentary here on, on Mimi Lay called Rediscovering Mimi Lay. We get the Deep River discussion with Roberto Lenzi. Q&A with, with director Rogerio Diodato and star Mimi Lay. So that's actually kind of cool. <clears throat> so a lot of cool stuff on here. A lot of great stuff. A Blade in the Dark. If you 
are a fan of House by the Cemetery, but you really, really hate that kid from House by the Cemetery. Well, you shouldn't, because he did a good job for what he had to do. Um, but uh, if you don't, if you're, if you look at him and you're like, I wish he would have got killed at the beginning of the film. Well, then you need to watch Lumberto Baba's Blade in the Dark because your dreams are about to come true because it's not this is not a spoiler alert or anything like that because it's within the first two minutes of the film the kid from house by the cemetery dies right at the beginning of this film man like right at the opening but there's a little twist on it so you'll you'll have to check it out and find it cannoli kung fu i like that yeah blade in the dark is a really cool one lumberto bava because he's a son of mary bava often does not get the credit that he really deserves. And is this not a sexy cover? So there you go, Blade in the Dark. It is $9.99, so you're getting down cheaper. You can get yourself a couple of these. Maybe you can go yourself five, ten, whatever. A Blood Veil for, for Lisa. This actually has, well, the cover of this one kind of reminds me of like a Harlequin romance style cover from the 70s. Um, I have like like six aunts, uh, seven aunts, uh, basically, that, that were like sisters to me. And uh, I remember those old Harlequin books that they'd have. <laughs> this reminds me of a Harlequin cover. Like, just look at this. White veils for angels, a black veil for Lisa. I don't know if I've seen this one, to be honest with you. I don't think I have. Uh, and it's by overseen by Massimo Delamano, who of course did What Have You Done to Solange, among other films. How have I not seen this film? Probably because it had this cover. That's probably the reason I haven't seen this. Uh, it's got a uh, interview with Rachel Nesbitt, which I love Rachel Nesbitt stuff, so definitely want to see this film. Yeah, Bob was voiced by a woman. Actually, if you watch the movie with its original Italian language <laughs> for the film and uh and you see it dubbed and there's if you got the new edition of uh house by the cemetery either got the three disc or you got the 4k uh then uh one of the neat things is it gives you the english dub which is really bad it gives you the original dub that came over here and then it gives you the italian dub that translates it as it was written and there's a whole subplot which you don't know about if you don't listen if you don't want watch it with the uh, with the original Italian dub. <laughs> Iron Master, I I love this. This is my better house type right here. It's one of these like uh, Pablo uh, Pablo type films, the uh, the sword and sorcery type things. Seven Bloodstained Orchids. Don't you just love titles that are Italian? The, these Italian titles are so good. Macabre, which is, this was when we were at this film, guys. If you've never seen Macabre, it's got one of those crazy endings that, oh, uh, man, you don't forget Macabre once you see it. It's some Berto Bava film. It's a really strange film. And the ending, much like the movie Pieces, you're, you're going to remember it, guys. You're going to remember that. Don't open the fridge. That's right. Uh, so you can see we've got a limb edition, soft touch slipcase. Those are really nice, those soft touch slipcases are. A limited edition booklet essay by Rachel Nesbitt. I'm really interested in that. Don't Lose Your Head, a new interview with director Lumberto Bava. Uh, audio commentary with Troy Horth and Nathaniel Thompson. You know that's going to be a good time. Reversible sleeve featuring original poster and VHS artwork. So let's just see that other artwork, by the way. That's weird. But <laughs> I think we'll put it back to this one right here. It's, a, it's definitely not eyes of the face. I, I get where you're where, where where you're coming from when you say that, but it, it's definitely not eyes of the face. It's a it's a different film, and as you can see, Lucio Fulci, one of his best films in my opinion, uh, that's not a horror film. The Devil's Honey is right there, and if you have not seen that film, if you have not been somebody that has been had the pleasure of seeing Lucio Fulci's Devil's Honey, hands down, in my opinion, one of his best character pieces that he did. <laughs> macabre, Mac you can Cinematech take the ending of, of Mac well, take Macabre and take pieces and like double feature those one night with with a couple people that have never seen them before, 
And uh, I'm not quite sure what, what they'll think at the, at the end of the night, but it'll be an interesting time. As you can see, we got witchcraft here, otherwise known as witchery. Uh, it is La Casa number four. Uh, I did a video once on the La Casa series. I'll actually update that down the road because that was a while back. Uh, Beyond Darkness, which is La Casa 5. These films do not have anything to do with one another. La Casa was evil dead, so you know they don't. Uh, you can see that we got Killer Crocodile here. And, of course, Killer Crocodile 2. Initially, this was put as a double feature. You get a box set of it. But it looks like now you can only get them in their... Uh, when I used saxophone. That was high. such a good film. Such a good film. And that's the Brett Halsey one. Now, I wanted to show you guys because, you know, these here, by the way, once you buy 20 pounds worth, it is 25% off, which is pretty good. You got to say that's, that's a pretty decent, like, sale price. Let's look at their shipping costs. Then we'll go into their Asian stuff. Then we'll, we'll just chat a bit here. So... We'll go to FAQs, I think. <clears throat> and their shipping can be a bit, delivery policy, I think it is, uh, can be a bit pricey. That's that's the only thing if, if you're international. If you're in the UK, you're, you're, you're laughing. This is really great. Because UK, you know, standard sh free shipping uh, with Royal Mail 48, two pounds 50 uh, for, uh, for a parcel force. International shipping is where it gets a bit more expensive. So some people like order with other people. Here's a, is one of those times when you when you kind of want to do that. And because it's going to be four pounds international on track shipping. You don't mind on track shipping. You're, you're good with that. Fine. Only four pounds. That's actually really good for shipping. But you're not going to get any tracking. No insurance is included. Uh, they highly suggest you use a tracked option. Of course they do. Uh the, it's the same thing and before you get like some people get upset about that i gotta say this to you right now screen archives if you ever been to screen archives you uh you can go there and you can pay like for regular shipping and you know it still comes really fast or you can pay an extra what seemed to be like 40 dollars for a uh, for track shipping and they'll have a great big huge red box come up on the screen telling you that i've never once used the track shipping for screen archives But you can get track shipping here for 16 pounds. Only 16 pounds? Well, that's quite a bit for when you're, when you're looking at shipping. It, that's, a, that's a nice cost. So for something like that, if you got a few friends that collect together, maybe the best option for you to do is uh, get a group buy d together and buy some stuff uh, with, uh, with some of your friends. That way you can actually get a, get a breakdown on the shipping. Maybe like three or four of you guys can go in together and um, get the shipping, uh, you know, just break down the shipping a bit. I mean, with new reach, oh, this is good. Like, there's some good stuff. Oh, wait, Dungeon, are you a fan? Are you a fan of Asian cinema? Do you like? Do you like the kung fu? Do you like the karate? Do you like the martial arts films? Cause they kill it with that. Now this is where they get really, really good. So this is their 88 Asia collection. I don't have any of these, and they are so, so good. So I am going to start right over at the at the next page because I want to start at what I think is the best uh, one that I've seen them put out. Uh, it's it's a, it's coming out soon, and that is the Young Master. It's a Jackie Chan, a really good Jackie Chan film, actually. And just look at this. So it's getting the hard box edition. Look at this. Look how sexy this is. Look at it. Is that not sexy? Does that not look amazing? And as you can see, it is not just getting a hard box edition. It is not just getting, it's not just two disc version, uh, two discs of the film. It's going to have three versions of the film. You're going to get the original Hong Kong cut, the international cut, the extended cut. You're going to get an 80 page book. You are going to get postcards. You're going to get a huge poster. <clears throat> this, this, my friends, this is a sexy release. Just look at that. Just sink it in. I, I just love this release. And that one is coming out on February 22nd. <clears throat> Let's break it down. 
let's look at it, what we got here. So we got Cantonese mono theatrical mix. We got the Cantonese mono home video mix, Cantonese hybrid mix, an English 5.1 dub, a newly remastered English subtitles. Uh, I do commentary with Hong Kong cinema expert Brandon uh, Bentley. We got Rick Baker on the Young Master, the art of the, of the cut, editing of the Young Master is 21 minutes long, extended fight sequences here, the Cut Master, a collection of rare deleted extended and altered footage, an archival Jackie Chan interview, the Master and interview with Master Wang in Sick, uh, in Sikh, uh, some uh, some no good shots that's 10 minutes long, uh, alternate audio clip, Hong Kong trailer, extended Hong Kong trailer, Japanese trailer, US home video trailer, English trailer, Hong Kong trailer park, just so, so much goodness. Any of my UK viewers out there that are that, that want to get me a birthday gift in the March uh, in the month of March, there you go, young master. I'm giving you ideas. I, I'm 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 sinking things into your heads. <laughs> okay, so let's go on to the next one because that that is just one of the many sexy releases that we got here. So we got like no <clears throat> no new Fist of Fury, uh, which is a really cool release. Look at look at the cover again. Look at the artwork on these Jackie Chan releases. They are so good. New 2K restoration, two cuts of the film, brand new uh, slipcase on this one, extensive book, uh, booklet notes by Bruce Lee, historian and martial arts movie reviewer Andrew Stanton. There's a bunch of stuff on these releases. These are such good releases. Hell, have I not looked into these releases? These these uh, these really cool Jackie Chan releases and some of the early Jackie Chan stuff. I'm going to be honest with you, it's it's some of his best stuff. Do they not ship to Canada land? Well, the, I actually I have gotten stuff from them, Michael, but most of the time when I got stuff from, uh, I'm going to be fancy. I'm going to stick at my pinky finger, you know, you can't see me. Uh, but <laughs> most of the times that I've bought from 88 Films, I've been in London. That's when uh, I did my big 88 Films run. I had planned to be in Morocco <laughs> last year, and going to London for, uh, for October to do some movie shopping didn't happen. Me and Michael are the new punching bags on Blu-ray.com if you have not seen that. Hey, Dagger. Welcome, man. We got The Oily Maniac, which is a really fun film. Weird title. Oily Maniac, actually not a bad film. One that I remember my dad telling me about when I was younger, and I had to hunt it down because it was just such a, such a cool one. I wish I had it now. I had a VHS of this one. Um, it was the flying guillotine. So my dad saw this in theater. I'm not quite sure if my dad's here right now, but my dad is on here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Shopping for movies. Well, I, I, well, yeah, because I was in London at the time. <laughs> uh, London was my dream place to go, and I, a few years back, I got to go there. I fell in love with it. If I wasn't moving to Morocco, I would definitely go be going to London. But uh, eventually I'll get somewhere anyway. Yeah, there's the thing. Like, I was talking to my dad about this, and he's like, you know, well, the shipping is kind of expensive. I said, yeah, a few people going together is the best. Is probably the better way to do it for something like this, or say if you can afford the shipping, because there is a point system, and I didn't mention that on here. Uh, but Ice Man is like really, really right when it when it comes to that. So the more you buy on here. Uh, the more points you uh, you gain, and the more points you gain, you put it towards other releases, just like Arrow does, actually. Um, so it's their, but it's their own system. It's not Arrow. It's not. It's not the same thing. Okay, we got the Bride from Hell here. Um, Bewitched is a cool. Both the Blu-ray and the DVD. If you if you want to get into DVDs, the Brave Archer, really good title actually. I really like the Brave Archer. Um, excellent, excellent film. Been a long time since I've seen this one. I think this is seventy-seven somewhere somewhere around there. 77, 70, 77, 77, there we go. Um, again, it's like Flip said, buy all the Shaw Brothers stuff. I'm eventually, Flip, I'm hopefully moving to Morocco. That's that. That's our thing. We have a we have a condo in Morocco, Flip. We have a condo in Morocco, and we, which was a gift from her uncle. And uh, we can't go there because of the craziness that's going on in the world. We were going to move to Morocco last year. Well, we were hoping to move there maybe like late summer and then uh and and the world caught on fire in 2020 <laughs> so it didn't happen i wish i was man i got no money spent on this tonight I w but uh 
If I could, I would. I, I, I'm not going to lie to you. And it's partially my fault because recently, as you guys know, you've been on the thing. I, I did had some money saved up. I got a deal on some on some board games. I'm a huge board game fan and board game collector as well. I don't normally tell that on here, but I am. That's one of the neat things. There's a lot of cool stuff. I, my good friend George, uh, he does. He's found so many out of print stuff over at at FOP when he's gotten there. Part one of the trilogy. That's right. There's two more of these. See, Flip knows knows his stuff when it comes to this. So if you're not checking out Flip's channel, you should be checking out. And if you're not te- checking out Michael's channel, come on, you're checking out Michael's channel. You're here. If you are here, you're checking out Michael's channel because there's a there's a correlation. <clears throat> We got Kasoon. Kasoon. All right. We're going to rewind that a bit. I'm going to try to speak again. And I'm going to say words that actually make sense. Casino. We got Casino Tycoon. Which is a more modern day one, actually. There you go. Look, 1992. Well, I know it doesn't seem modern now. Uh, it's an Andy Lewin. But for me, that, that that's that's modern. I'm... <laughs> I'm still saying, I still, I am at the top point in my life where 1992 is still modern. I'm sorry. But modern compared to the old stuff. New video publishing in like five minutes. Be sure to check that out. I'll check it out. Hey there, Josephine. In 1990, <laughs> I, uh, Home Alone board game. Not that type of board game collecting. Uh, <laughs> uh, although I do uh, uh, admire and appreciate people that collect some of the media stuff. You would think I would, but no. When I'm talking about board game, I'm talking about I collect certain uh, styles of board games. Not not usually a lot of the roll. Not not lot, not a lot of the roll and run ones. One Armed Swordsman is here. Uh, Black Magic Two, Spiritual Boxer. Um, great titles there. The Vengeful Beauty, The Human Goddess. Hex was one of their was it, was their first actually. Black Magic, the original Vengeful Beauty. Let's get to page one because that's where you're gonna see a lot of their really cool looking jacket chain stuff. I would love to see more arrows, like arrow put in more shower. Sure, more shower others needs to be put out anyway. I remember my dad telling me once that because uh, he, he was, you know, he would go to the movies back in the time when there's the big kind of like tongue ma- fu mania going on, and he'd come out of the of the theater and a bunch of people, like a lot of the, the guys, especially a lot of the younger guys, would be there, like coming out, <laughs> going to the cars, practicing their moves <laughs> that they'd seen from uh, from the films because you know. After watching a kung fu film, automatically you got the moves down. Hey Nathan, welcome, man. The two versions of Charlie Brown's Christmas in 4K. That is awesome. 1995. So, if for me it's modern. <laughs> have I checked out the 88 films Van Damme release? I have not. I haven't checked out any of their Asian releases at all, and I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. I'm a bad collector. I got the creakiest chair here. I'm not sure if you can hear that in the background, but it's creaking like crazy. So we got here Jackie Chan. Which one is this one? Shaolin Wooden Man. So again, we get this sexy slipcover. Oh, it, we get the we got the uh, cards, the postcards. We got the uh, the poster. How big are these posters? Flip. How big are the posters, man? Hey there, Chad. Welcome. Just got the master. Uh, excellent. That looks like a really cool release, man. Arrow T's the 36 Chambers. That'll be cool. Yeah, there's the thing. There's there's the killer thing. So many labels putting with so much good stuff. You can't collect it all. You gotta you gotta pick and choose what you're what you're gonna grab. Uh, if not, it gets overwhelming in the last year or so. I know we've all been stuck inside and we've all been, been you know, getting more, uh, getting more antsy and buying more stuff because of it. Uh, but there's got to be a time when you look and you say, oh, yeah, when am I going to get a watch on? <laughs> so, 
There's got to be a time. Same size the era posters. Really? Wow. Uh, this looks good. I love this. I love the look. Look, just look at this, guys. And I love that they have them like they actually have them in the, the right hair for each of these films. I know that's a little thing, may seem simple to you guys, but for me, like it's like because look right here, spiritual kung fu, right? And he's got his longer Jackie Chan hair here. We see. I love the fact that look at this. So we can see the slip cover. We can see the art on the inside. It looks so sexy. Again, we get more of those postcards. A libraries are definitely essential. Lots to pick. Way too many to pick from. Slightly smarter than arrow posters. So what would you say, like, range? Because I'm, I'm a... Because when we say arrow posters, I think like there's two ways to think of it. There's arrow posters that used to come with those the DVDs and Blu-rays back in the day. There's arrow posters that you get now. Now the master, this is the one that he just mentioned here. And look at look how good this release looks. Like in all honesty, just look at this release. Like bam, look at that. Look how cool that looks. See, here I am helping to sell some 88 film stuff, but according to Blu-ray.com, people, not enough. Uh, <laughs> is that a mullet? Does, he, does that guy have a mullet? You know he's a really bad, he's a bad guy in a, in a kung fu movie when he has the, the infamous mullet. So uh, that's, that's then, this is a Jet Li one, by the way. Limited A3 poster. What does A3 mean when it says the poster? I don't I don't know what that is. But there's a ton of features on these. Like they really have loaded this up with of stuff up with features. To the point of like, say you picked up the Friday the thirteenth box set this year. So remember the Friday thirteenth box, the one that came out this year, you got it, you got your you got your bonus disc, you got two bonus discs, so you put on the second bonus disc, you slip it in. You put on like Scream Queens, Horror Heroines, ex Horror Heroines Exposed, and you're like, wow, this is a really good documentary. I can't believe like this documentary has eluded me for so long. Now, if you're an 88 Films fan, then it hasn't because you watched it back in 2014 when it came out on the Graduation uh, Day disc, which was the very first Slasher Classics collection. Uh, so uh, I always look at their stuff. They put out some really good documentaries. I actually had a mall in school, man. I can't grow a model now. I can barely grow hair. A4 is standard paper. A3 is double. Thanks, man. I didn't know. Uh, <clears throat> uh, but I did. Like, uh, there's a picture. I don't know where it's at. I have a picture somewhere. I, w I don't mind showing it. I would show it with me when I was younger. Like, I was thinking I was in grade 9 or 10. And I had, like, a mullet, you know, like, you know, business in the front, party in the back. It looked horrible. But, uh, you know, fun stuff anyway. For those that are on my Patreon, you got to see today my uh, my complete Slasher Classics collection. I got into them and I went pretty in-depth with it as well. We got stuff here like the Fearless Ahina, Hero Shed No Tears, Dragon Lord, Armor of God 2. Of, of course, we know that in North America is Operation Condor. And, of course, Armor of God. Is Armor of God here as well? Uh, Dragons Forever. That's a cool release. Uh, Heart of Dragon, Miracles of Canton, Godfather, The Protector. Uh, this is more of a kind of a North American, like Jackie Chan one, before they re let him be Jackie Chan. Uh, crime Stories here, The Kill with Intrigue. Oh, that is, these are sexy looking. Look at this, my God. Who's doing these covers? They're doing an amazing job. Who's the artist that's doing this stuff? Because look at that. Look how, look how good that looks. Look how good that will look in your collection. And it's Jackie Chan. It kind of looked like Jimmy Wang Yu, but it's Jackie Chan there, right? He's got the hair like that. Armor God's releasing in April. Thanks, I didn't know that. I did have a rat tail too, Chad. <laughs> I feel your pain. I actually 
had the the dreaded rat tail. Uh, every bad like hair choice that I could choose, I, I chose. I actually had my head shaved for eight years, just so you, for those that don't know it. I had my head shaved. I had my head shaved, and I had a, uh, a goatee. Um, so when my better half met me, she said I looked like a thug. Uh, so so I, I had to grow back, but hair I could. Kung Fu Bob. That's the name of the artist? Nice. Well, Kung Fu Bob, you are amazing. Snake and Crane, Arts of, Sha of Shaolin. I love watching these films. I can't believe like the, like how good they've done with like with the with the, having the different audio mixes here. Uh, like artwork's fantastic, but these audio mixes that that that's insane. That that just blows my mind. Leroy Green, welcome, man. I should have known you'd come in when Kung Fu came around. Do I have any of the thug pictures? I probably do here somewhere. Uh, don't have them up here now. Tell you what, next time I'm doing a video like this, I'll bring up one of my pictures for me when I have my head shaved. Because it's very different. Like, people have a different... It's so weird because people have a different perception of somebody based on, on the way that they look. Now, when I met my better half, my uh, my head was shaved. I, uh, I was wearing an earring. I had this, like, camp necklace. I had like this big motorcycle jacket that I used to wear and often there would be like a, a hoodie that I'd wear <laughs> inside of it. Uh, so yeah, that was me. <laughs> Not at all what you picture right now. And still for some odd reason she, she decided to uh, to be with me. So <laughs> so, so I guess I guess I lucked out. He just every audio track to feel complete. I would actually do that, you know. Um, that's why I'm, I'm doing like a, uh, a video on, basically on like a, on, on a certain adult like title for my uh, for my uh, Patreon videos, and I still haven't got it finished because I've got to go through every single like commentary. And there's a lot of commentaries. No, the titles that are on sale. Uh, just so you know, uh, Leroy, are the Italian collection right now. Italian collection are the ones that are on sale right now for, and it's like you buy twenty dollars worth or twenty pounds worth, I guess. Uh, then it's going to be, it's going to cost you. I got to get my drink. Uh, it's going to cost you four. It's going to cost you twenty five percent off. It's going to cost you. It's going to be twenty five percent off. So let's look at their last chance title. See what, what's see what's going in a print that's not going to come back in anymore. That's what these last chance ones mean. All right, right away we can see one of the one of the Asia titles right there. It's Black Magic. So if you want to get Black Black Magic on Blu-ray, jump on that. We can see that Adult Fairy Tales on Blu-ray is uh, that's a Michael Keane. That's one for you, man. Adult Fairy Tales is nine ninety nine. Uh, already gone. Slaughterhouse Rock. Uh, Grizzly's gone. Luckily, that's coming up by Severin. Uh, Sweet Sixteen is gone. We they have dogs on sale for three ninety nine, and uh, we got like the the Blu ray there for nine ninety nine. Fearless Hyena, good time. I've been watching that movie in ages. Then I got to own it. Now one Dark Knight. Sorry, damn. Sorry, soda. It's a good one. I actually got the uh, Code Red one. That one, so I'm good with that. Toolbox Murders again. That one's already gone too. Look at this. These are going going fast. These are ones that aren't coming back. So they're ones to look into. Uh, they've already sold out on House on Sorority Row. You can get Adult Fairy Tales on DVD as well. Enigma is going, guys. So if you want to get any of their Italian releases that are going, like some of their Italian releases are going. So not only are some of these Italian releases like on sale right now, but you will have the chance to not only get an Italian release, not only get a sexy case, because their, their Italian releases are these white cover cases. I'm actually going to run downstairs in a second. I'm going to bring up my Italian release. It's going to show you guys. I got to run like just five or six of them. Um, but just to give you an idea of what they look like that not on uh, on camera. Well, not, not, not as a, just as a flat image. 
And you're going to see, like, they got some really sexy stuff. So, yeah, but you're going to have the the bragging rights of saying, oh, yes, I got that before it went out of print. Now you have to pay a lot of money for it online. That's that's not a good snobby voice. Uh, so Enigma, Dan, Dinos, Massacre in Dinosaur Valley, Absurd, all of these going out of print. All of these are going. Uh, so if you want to get the, the their, their edition of it, you know, this is a place to get it. This is the time to get it. It is on sale. Yeah, I know. I wanted... You have no idea, Dungeon, how many times I looked at Eskimo Nell as one that I was going to pick up. I never did pull the trigger on it. My fault. It went out of print. Th that happens. It happens all the time, right? And it looks like such a fun release. Drive-In Massacre here. This one is on sale. Really cool release, by the way. Um, Emmanuel, The Last Cannibal. I'm actually going to show you that one. Man from Deep River. I'm actually going to show you that one. Um, we got, like, SX Experiment Camp. Um, you know, a love story, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Transfers 2 is on sale for $7.99. Blade in the Dark, their sexy release for $7.99 if you want to get it. Good movie. Streets is a really good movie, by the way. Underrated. Let me just go grab my uh, my Italian collection. I will bring it upstairs. We will look at them. And you will get to see what they look like in person in kind of 3D, I guess. So, yeah, some of these are, are, are going out of print. They, they will not be around much longer. All right, I am back. So, as scary as it is, as it is, you're gonna to have to look at me for just a little bit before I finish off this video here for tonight. All right, so let's do these in order, why don't we? I'm peeking at the, so yeah, let's do these in order. Sorry about your mom, video drone. In 2015, hopefully, I don't, it never gets better, but hopefully, it gets easier. All right. So, this is one of my favorite jowls, actually, and it was put out by uh, by them. I, it must be out of print because I did not see it on the website. And if you saw it, let me know. And that is the Bloodstained Shadow. This is a really, really good jowl. Extremely well done. I love this cover art too. Look at this art. Sexy. It is cool. Uh, this one here, really no features on. And I really wanted to know a lot about this film. Uh, it was done by Antonio Bito. And, uh, and Bito is really good with this type of stuff. So definitely make sure that you that you check this out if you ever get the chance. It's a really good film. But after not being, you know, I was really disappointed there's no features. Then I... Uh, saw this and I started reading it and this told me pretty much everything that I that I wanted to know when it came to uh, to the film there was a really good interview on here with, with Beto that uh, kind of filled it filled it in there's an interview there's a write-up by, by on, called Jello Fever by Callum Waddle and back in the early days of uh, this stuff they used to put like uh, these here cards in there so there's the card for uh, the film you can see some of the other releases. Now, all of these movies here are unfortunately Morocco. Uh, I, I wanted to watch this one recently, actually. And there's the alternate artwork right there. But there you go. And they are all numbered. Not just numbered, though, but they have the year that they came out. So this one came out. This is number two. It came out in 1978. I love that about these releases. Uh, this is a, a Jallo release. Not everyone that I got is Jallo, though, so. Next up is number nine. Now, remember when I said they had these really cool, like, soft slip covers that are really unique and different? Well, uh, it is Zombie 3. Look at that. Uh, so there you go. Zombie 3 right here. This is a soft, kind of a silky type feel to it. A really unique feel. It doesn't feel like 
like paper. It's just got this really soft, silky type feel. Oh yeah, you're sexy. Uh, <laughs> so uh, this is Zombie Three or Zombie Flesh Eaters Two, as it's called, otherwise known as Zombie Three. Uh, says done by Lucio Fulci. Really, it's Bruno Mattei. Lucio Fulci got sick. Bruno Mattei did most of the directing for this film. Um, brand new transfer interviews with the with the star Q and A with Katrina McCall. Uh, collectible poster art cards. Oh, I still have that in here. Yeah, that's in here. That's the art card right there. And there was a bonus disc in here called Pora, which is a, a documentary about, uh, about Lucio Fulci. Well, he's wondering. I'll check it out. All right, let's do this right so that I can put it back right. Next up is number 11. I love this movie. I really, really, really recommend this movie. So if you have not seen this movie and you get a chance to check it out, this this is a really good one. Right here. Live like a cop, die like a man. And this was... Uh, who did this one? Was it Diodato? Yeah, it is. It, says, it is Rigorio Diodato. And... It stars Mark Prell and Ray Lovelock. Now, I love these two guys. Uh, they are incredible. They're, they're not nice guys. I don't go in expecting these guys. These are the cops. These are the good guys. But they're pretty much... Uh, and this is a neat concept, basically. They're so bad that, they know, that the cops have them as police officers because they know if they don't, they'll make excellent criminals. They're violent. They're... They're mean, but but you gotta love them. But that's the way they're meant to be. Uh, it's a cool little title. I actually really do like this one. And again, we get we get these here, cool little. I can't show you. There's a uh, a card, a postcard on the inside of this one, but there is the infamous nudity, which they don't let you show on uh, on YouTube because heaven forbid somebody sees boobs. That's a that's gonna be a horrid thing. Next up is The Man from Deep River. On Kino? Oh, definitely want to get Craig if you haven't got it. Man from Deep River. This is a cannibal film, but it's a kind of a... How do you say this? A, a lighter cannibal film than, uh, than some of the stuff you see. This is loaded with features. This is one I told you about with the documentary Mimi Lay. And uh, again, there's a... Can I show you the art in this one on the inside? So there's a booklet here. And then they show like, Coming Soon, 2019. And there's the artwork on the inside. Like you can change the art around if you want to. Deep River Savages. Next up is Emmanuel and the Last Cannibals. I really did like this film. They ride together in the most like a They do, actually, yeah. Again, a cool little film. There wasn't a lot of features on this one here. So I bought the, uh, the Severn edition. Uh, if you want to know what the poster looks like, what the postcard looks like for this one here, well, it's the same as the art on the slipcover for the Severn one. So there you go. Uh, Emmanuel and the Last Cannibal, again, it's number 13. Lucky number 13. And last but not least is an insanely fun film. And then I got to go because I got some stuff I got to do. Um, and it is, uh, but I wanted to come in and do this for you guys tonight. I, it was It was important for me. This is number 14. It's not, done in 1981. It is done by one of my favorite insane directors uh, of Italian genre films. And I do mean it. Just watch any of his films. All crazy. Uh, and it is Andre Bianche's Burial Ground. I know this was put up by Severin Films, I think, as well. Uh, Burial Ground is such a cool, little, cheesy, crazy film. Oh, man. Um, the gates of hell have opened. It's trying to make you think it's Lucio Fulci. It's not. You're, this is not a Beyond film. It is a weird film. One of my favorite scenes in Barrow Ground uh, has the has the has this girl looking at a window. Well, the zombies are sneaking up with a big stick so they can knock the window cell down on her head. Uh, that's a scene from Barrow Ground, and that is that. And if that sounds weird to you, I'm going to tell you that's one of the least weird scenes from uh, from Bear, from <laughs> Barrow Ground. There's some great features on here, though. We get um, we get the interview with Mikhail Coven, uh, author of La Dolce Morte, on the films of Andre Bianchi. I kind of get that book actually. 
audio commentary on by expert John Martin, moderated by Callum Waddle, deleted scenes, reversible artwork, burial ground trailer, zombie holocaust trailer, because it was called that as well. I am Aaron. Thank you so much for joining me here for my bonus video here tonight. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you, if you get any cool 88 film stuff, please let me know. Put it down in the comment section down below and let me know what you got so I can I can be like jealous of everything you guys got. And uh, as always, it's been my pleasure, Dave, to come in here and talk to you guys again. Like, if you haven't liked, please do that. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, Jerry and I welcome, man. And always check out the Live Movie Club. It's my Patreon uh, channel, and I do a lot of stuff for it. I, I really do. I I'm doing my best. Have a great evening, guys. Like, share, subscribe, donate, super chat, whatever you want. But either way, have a good evening, and I will see you here again live on Thursday. But lots of videos coming up before then. Talk to you soon. Don't forget, tomorrow we got the... Uh,